July 27th, 2024, The Witching Hour. But first, please help my humble channel to grow. Like, subscribe, share, or comment, any combination thereof. Why? Because you're beautiful on the inside and on the outside. Nails wire. So it is 3.14 a.m. I just finished my um, prayer meditation a few minutes ago. I prayed three hours, 20 minutes nonstop. I started praying at about 11.50 something. And then I finished praying, it was like three something. So by the grace of God, I was literally, he, he empowered me to pray since before the witching hour started, just before, to just after the witching hour ended. I could perceive that he was really subduing the targeting um, he is continuing to empower me to pray in tongues and pray in English simultaneously while at the same time visualizing the word love and working on inhaling, visualizing the word love, exhaling, saying the word love, okay, continually, being mindful that keeping one's brain keeping the lord keeping my brain this active it one person referred to just meditation alone this isn't even if it's if you believe in jesus or if you believe in the bible as bodybuilding for the brain okay it's the exact opposite of what they thought when you're in intense meditation your brain is firing off it's lit up like a christmas tree so this violates it impedes their ability to do remote neural monitoring and reading your brain waves and really tailoring this program of, of victimization targeting abuse to you in such a way that they can either maximize its ability to destroy your life or push you over the edge and get you to commit a crime or to harm yourself or to harm one of these folks that are participating in the program which again, that would result in you probably being institutionalized and your neutralization would be even more. Ultimately, they want us unaliving ourselves. They want us gone, but they'll take whatever they can get. So as God does this, he takes their plans, and he sort of wrinkles them into a paper and he throws them into the trash. Now, God is the wind in my sails. If I don't pray, if I don't tithe, if I don't fast, if I don't praise him, the wind in my sails goes out and their targeting will increase. So I'm, I'm, I'm literally too afraid to not, to not pray, to not pray during the witching hour. I can't stand the targeting and I love watching God make a fool of them. The amount of targeting he allows them to do to me, it's so minimal that when I want to complain, I realize I'm being petty. I'm like, this doesn't hurt. It's not inconvenient. If it gets serious, all I have to say is, Dear God, please deliver me from what they're doing to this part of my body or that part of my body or to this noise. And he does. He makes it bearable. So it's like even when they when it gets intense, he doesn't let it get that intense. You know, it's, it's been to where I don't even really have to call anybody for moral support. God is carrying me. So I praise him. And I want to encourage you, pay your tithes and offerings, help the poor, tithe your time to the Lord. Prayer and reading his word include fasting and praising him. God bless.